Hey guys, hi, it's Julie, the Creative Chica, coming to you with my reveal of my um, daughter's birthday book. I finally finished it, and I wanted to show you guys what I did. I bought those buttons from Joann's, and the bubbles also from Joann's, and these little cute little pink. I You probably can't, I'm going to get it close. It's pink and gray, really cute and glittery, and then this is a pearly color. So it's super cute, and I put the um, little bubbles everywhere, and I, so I finished that up, and I'm really happy with it, and then I want to show you guys the inside, and show you what's going on on the inside. So, um, I have this little sticky note to show me where are empty spots. So I could fill them up with candy or whatever else that I find that she might like. So um, here on number 24, which would be October 24th, is a, it says time to make a wish. And it's a polish. And then on the, on the 23rd is some washi and some little, um, I made her some little bows. So she could use those in her Christmas crafting if she wants to. And then on 22 is a scrunchie. 21 is are the earrings that Trina gave me. Hi, Trina. Thank you. So she sent those to me for my daughter. That was very sweet of her. So she sent me that. She sent me two. One for myself and one for her. So she's getting those. And then in number, this one here, I'm putting some little um, die cuts that I'm making for her. So I'm going to fill that up with die cuts of all kinds. And then 19 is some red, green, red, green, and gold glitter. So she could use it in her crafting. 18 is empty. 17, more of those cute, cute little earrings. Look at those. So adorable. So they're super cute. There, I think there's even gingers in here. Yeah, look at that. Aren't they cute? Anyway, and I left the tag in there that says that's nickel free because she cannot do nickel. And then there is some glitter. Excuse me. Some of those sequins from the Dollar Tree. So I put half the pack in here and there's another part in the rest somewhere in here. And then here there's some twine. Pretty white and silver so she could use it for a Christmas crafting. And then there is a lanyard. This is a mask lanyard because she still has to wear one over there. And so a mask lanyard. And then, and there's another polish. And I made this up here. Then here is, oh, this one's empty. 12 and 11 are empty. Ten, these three are empty. So I got to fill those with candy or something. And then, um, here are those little glue uh, silicone finger cups from the Dollar Tree for her glue gun so she doesn't burn her fingers. And then here are the rest of the sequins here. And here's more earrings here, more different kinds, very cute. And then here are some clips. I bought a package of clips for her and I put them in this little organza bag. I just took them out of the packaging stuff them in there and then here another polish another scrunchie these are some hearts I made some crocheted hearts and different like small medium large so I crocheted those so I'm putting those including that in there so she could use them for something and then this one is um, a bookmark so there's a little bookmark in here. And then um, in an organza bag. And then here, number one, it says happy birthday. And I have this little organza bag that I will be putting some cash in and putting it in there. Now, that down there was just one of those regular gold brads. Um, you know, the kind you use in offices, but this one was gold. And what I did was I dipped it in some Versa Mark ink, and then I used 
um, embossing powder to heat it up and that's Egyptian gold so beautiful it's gold but with like this holographic so pretty and I don't do a lot of embossing but every time I do embossing I think wow I need to keep doing embossing so anyway that's it I hope you guys enjoyed um, looking at my book and um, just sharing with um, sharing your time with me and looking at these cute cute little things I bought on there I got lots of stuff today to, to do today oh I forgot to tell you guys they this came with little hearts and so I put the hearts here so anyway that's it I'm done decorating the book I never decorate the back of things because it you know I feel like if you lay them down they're going to be wonky and stuff like that so I just think it's better not to do that I do that with my journals I don't do the back so anyway that's it guys I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video